Here's a poem by the master of dark poetry, the English Victorian poet Thomas Lovell Beddoes. The Dance of Death The moon doth mock and make me crazy and midnight tolls her horrid claim on, on ghostly homage, fie for shame. Deaths to stand painted there so lazy. There's nothing but the stars about us, and there no telltales but shine quiet. Come out and hold a midnight riot, where no mortal fool dare flout us. And as we rattle in the moonlight pale, wanderers shall think tis the nightingale. Mummers and skeletons out of your stones, every age, every fashion and figure of death, the death of the giant with petrified bones, the death of the infant who never drew breath, little and grisly or bony and big, white and clattering, grassy and yellow. The partners are waiting, so strike up a jig, dance and be merry, for death's a droll fellow. The emperor, the empress, the king and the queen, the knight and the abbot, friar fat, friar thin, the gypsy, the beggar, are met on the green. Where's death and his sweetheart? We want to begin in circles and mazes, and many a figure through clouds, over chimneys and cornfields yellow. We'll dance and laugh at the red-nosed grave digger, who dreams not that death is so merry a fellow. Although my old ear hath neither hammer nor drum, methinks I can hear living skeletons come. The cloister re-echoes the call, and it frightens the lizard, and like an old hen, the wall cries, cluck, cluck, back to my gizzard. Tis warm, though it's stony, my chicken so bony. So come, let us hide, each with his bride, for the wicked are coming who have not yet died. My goblet's golden lips are dry, and as the rose doth pine for dew, so doth for wine my goblet's cup. Rain, oh rain, or it will die. Rain, fill it up. Arise and get thee wings tonight, Etna. And let run o'er thy wines a hill no more, That darkly frown a cloud, Where eagles dare not soar, Dropping rain down. And his brand says, A very good and thirsty melody. What say you to it, my court poet? And Wolfram replies, Good melody. If this be a good melody, I have at home fattening in my sty a sow that grunts above the nightingale. Why, this will serve for those who feed their veins with crust and cheese of dandelion's milk and the pure rind. When I am sick of mornings, with a horn spoon tinkling my porridge pot, tis a brave ballad. But in bacchanal night, or wine red, black or purple bubbling wine that takes a man by the brain and whirls him round by Bacchus lip I like a full voiced fellow a craggy throated fat cheeked trumpeter a barker a moon howler who could sing thus as I heard the snaky mermaid sing in Phlegathon that hydrophobic river one May morning in hell Old Adam, the carrion crow, the old crow of Cairo. He sat in the shower and let it flow under his tail and over his crest, and through every feather leaked the wet weather. 
and the bow swung under his nest. For his beak, it was heavy with marrow. Is that the wind dying? Oh no. It's only two devils that blow through a murderer's bones to and fro in the ghost's moonshine. Ho, oh, Eve, my grey carrion wife, when we have supped on king's marrow, where shall we drink and make merry our life? Our nest, it is Queen Cleopatra's skull. It is cloven and cracked and battered and hacked, but with tears of blue eyes it is full. Let us drink then my raven of Cairo. Is that the wind dying? Oh no. It's only two devils that blow through a murderer's bones to and fro in the ghost's moonshine.